Seeing as I'm supposed to, how did you sweetly put it? Get used to being dead to my family? That was it. Mango? They're ripe and very sweet. I think I'll pass. What I'd really like is a nice big slab of ribs that I could eat all by myself. Sorry. Fresh out of ribs. Sean. I know that you think that it would be best if I just accepted being dead to the rest of the world, but I can't do that. And I know that I made a promise to you that I wouldn't tell anyone I met you, but my children, my family, my husband, they need me. You know, it's not my fault that you wound up here. I'm not blaming you for that. And now that you are here, I think you'd be better off making the best of it. Oh, that's right. You run. You just keep running. So miserable that your own life turned out so rotten, you have to make everybody else miserable, including my kids. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nobody turns down Reba Shane. You can't always have things your way, you know. I, I'm not. You may be able to boss people around at work, hey, I'm not but I'm not one of those around. bimbos that be put in the steno pits or whatever those places are called. Yeah, I, know I have my I... own rights, I do. And one of those rights is that I get to decide who I want to come to my party. That means okay. Cassie is right. out. First of all, it's not a party. Yes, it is a party. No, it's my no, coming home party. No, it's it, it's a family dinner. That's what it is. And Cassie's going to be there. Cassie and Tammy. No matter what kind of temper tantrum you throw, that's not going to change. She lives there, and she's your sister. Remember that. As if I could forget it. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll just have a close family dinner. You, me, and the kids. That would be you, nice. me, the kids, Billy, Cassie, Tammy, <sighs> and maybe Hart. Now, that's it. End of discussion, all right? Okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Can we just move on now? We've got too much to do. So now you're angry with me? I'm not angry. Yes, you are. You're no, so angry I'm, you could spit. You're I'm so not, angry I, you want to spank me. You want to put me over your knee and spank me. What is the matter with you? Can, can we just get on with it, please? Okay, boss. You have to be letter perfect at that dinner table. So teach me. I'm a big girl with a big appetite. Now, don't let me down, Wanda. No, uh, no, uh, sweet. I know you've never let me down before. So, uh, sweetheart, just hold, hold on. I didn't mean it like that at all. I just meant I want tomorrow night's dinner to be super special. Yeah, I know you'll take care of everything. You're the best. OK, thanks. Bye. That was Wanda. Mr. Bash is not coming in. We are swamped here. Yeah, well, a little work will get done. It always does. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. Look, well, I got you here. I just wanted to run this by you. What do you think about for tomorrow night's Welcome Home Reva dinner that we have ribs and uh, pecan pie? Uh, uh, great, I guess. I guess that, um, uh, you're fine. I did yeah. again, didn't I? I put my foot right on somebody's toes. No, no, you didn't. I just have something on my mind right now. I'm sorry. Would you and Hart have a little lover spat? Yeah, I wish it was just that. Well, I'll have a talk with that boy tomorrow night for sure. You can't. Why not? Because he's not going to be there tomorrow night or any other night. And I can't, you know, I kind of figured that you would be the next one in the family that'd be taking the walk down the aisle, and I kind of hoped that Hart would be the boy with you. I know you mean well, but can we not talk about this, please? Okay. I I'm, I'm just trying to keep Hart off my mind right now, so if we could just not... Oh, honey. God, it must be such a relief to you that the police are letting you clean this place up. But poor Nettie, I mean, she's been working so hard making it... Mom, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking... Carl has been murdered. The police are out there right now, and all you can think about is what a relief it must be to have this place clean. Like, that should just be the number one thing on our minds right now. Is that it, Mom? Beth, honey, you... You maybe should go upstairs and lie down. Don't treat me like I'm a little girl. 
I am trying to be helpful, Beth. That's all I am trying to do, and that's all I ever try to do. I'm gonna go read to this one. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. This is no, 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 no. If Harley and I hadn't come I, up with that scheme to listen, lure Carl, no, listen, listen. Listen to me. This is not your fault. My father is the one that brought Carl into your life and into Lizzie's life. He's the one that did this. Okay. Where's Alan? He's at the police station. With any luck at all, he will be staying there. We'll lock him up forever. But, Philip, what if Alan didn't kill Carl? What if he didn't do it? He's responsible. He is morally responsible. I've never been more sure of anything than I am of that. Carl deserved to die. And Alan deserves to pay for bringing him into our lives. I have cooperated with you fully. I have told you everything. And this, as you well know, without my attorney present. I just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything. I submitted to your gun residue test on my hands, which your forensic brethren will find absolutely nothing. Why? Because I did not shoot the man. Now, if you're not going to charge me with something, you will release me. This is not a request. It is a demand. And if Springfield's finest does not honor my demand, I will hit you with an harassment suit, the likes of which would make the man in the Oval Office pale. Hey, Frank, what happened with forensics? Nothing happened in forensics. No results at all? Nothing means nothing. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, sis. You've been talking to me all morning. Yeah, but this is important to me. Yeah, well, so are these reports. Well, just tell me, did they use that Bascom White test? Because that's supposed to be far <clears throat> superior Excuse me. to... Excuse me. I know what I'm doing. I just want to know what's going on. I'll tell you exactly what's going on. Alan Spalding's being released. Don't you think that's a little premature, Frank? Are you, uh, are you asking or are you telling me, little sister? No, I, I am simply pointing out that... That Alan iced Carl? Is that what's going on in your little head right now? I'm just saying he's, he's a very strong suspect And you in think this. maybe that idea may have escaped me? No. No. I, I, no. No. I wouldn't tell you how to do your you job. You know, Harley, from the beginning of this case, I have to admit, you've been acting like you're still on the force. You're not only no. still on the force, but you've been acting like you're heading up the whole investigation. But here's a newsflash. You're not a cop anymore. Frank, I am up to my eyeballs in this case. I'll say you're up to your eyeballs. This guy was murdered at your boyfriend's house, not to mention you and Beth's cockamamie idea to get him there. And another thing, too, Philip, on more than one occasion, has said he would love to have murdered Carl. Hell, I even witnessed that. Wait a minute, Frank, wait a, wait a minute. So what are you saying? You're... Alan will be released because he's no longer your prime suspect? And Philip is? Hey. I'm telling you, Frank. Philip didn't do it. Listen to me. Listen to your brother. You're in love with Philip. You cannot look at this objectively right now, okay? You cannot help me with this investigation. Do you understand me? You can't even comment on it, sis. Hey, I have got a few choice comments for you, big brother. Detective Cooper, you got a minute? I love you, too. I can't be objective. I can act like a cop. Come on, come on. Step right up. Give me your best shot. Win a prize. Think this is funny, Alan? I am not amused in the least, Harley. You've bought yourself a lot of trouble. <laughs> I've suffered through good cop, bad cop, now I'm suffering through a non-cop. They're going to charge you with murder one, Alan. Why don't you let me help you? What are you suggesting? Confess to killing Carl. I'll help you with your defense plea. Really? How? I'm good at this. 
you know, you are too much, Harley. I can be your new best friend. Well, then let me give my new best friend a little tip, all right? I hated Carl Stevens. He was swine. He was dirt and dangerous. So you knew him? Yes, I knew him, but I didn't shoot him. Which leads me to believe you're protecting the person who did. That's why this won't work out, Harley. You are even worse than I thought. You'd, you'd sell your own son down the river to save your skin. Hmm. You brought up Philip, not me, but let's talk rationally now. After what I just did for you, you should be thanking me. Beth, everything is going to be okay. You just got to hang tough. Philip, listen to me. I have to no, tell you something. No, I, no, no, I got to no. tell you something. I, I don't care who pulled the trigger. Alan is the one that loaded the gun, and he's the one that aimed it. So as far as I'm concerned, he's the one that's responsible. After what he did to you... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Beth, Philip, it's Lizzie. What? She's not hurt or anything like that, but the little thing, she's sitting all alone in her room. She doesn't want to play. She doesn't want to be read to. She doesn't, she doesn't have any emotion on that little face of her. She's so sad, Beth. No, I just, last night I kept telling her, I kept saying not to worry that we were all going to be all right. We are going to be all right. It's going to be fine. It will. I, um, I also told her something that both of you should know. I told her that Carl had drowned in the pond. Why? Well, I didn't want to lie to her mother, but I really don't see what choice I had. No, I think you did the right thing. The less Lizzie knows about what really happened, the better. But she saw Carl here. I, I, I think lying to her is a terrible idea. Hey, Hart, how you doing? Uh, that's what I'm here to find out, Billy. Ah, uh, well, I got a meeting to go to, and I got a few little surprises to take care of, so, um... What about I leave you two to do? hold down the fort? So? This is a place of business, Hart. Yeah, maybe I should have called and made an appointment. I think we've said everything we had to say last night. You know, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. Look, come on, I've explained everything about Riva until I'm blue in the face. You know? And Dinah! Dinah, she's just, like, telling everyone about this alleged affair about me and Josh. I'm so sick of explaining myself and trying to justify everything I do. I mean, Riva is having a really hard time right now, and we're just rallying okay. around Can her. I say something, please? Everything has been said. So, Billy knows about this, too? Yeah. Yeah, Billy knows. I mean, he's, he's family. And if you're here, if you're here to give me the third degree again, I don't want to hear How am I going to give you the third degree, Cass? You won't even let me get a word in. Well, that's because I really think you should go, and we probably shouldn't be talking right now, okay? Oh, okay. And when the hell did you start making all the decisions? get back home, I promise. Not all women are like Nora, you know. You can trust me. Springfield, we call this food. But I'll put 
put on a ton if I eat all of no, that. No, no, no. See, I don't expect you to eat all of this. I just want you to take a look at it. I want to see what you go to first, what you like best. But you already told me what my favorite foods are. Yeah, I, I know that. I want to see if it holds. Go ahead. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have pate. Very good. We have fried chicken. We have asparagus and prosciutto. And <gasps> figs with mascarpone. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, Michael made those. Mm, I know, I love these things. Well, mm. wait, wait. Since when have you uh, liked mm. mascarpone? Mm. Michael taught me. He's this gourmet guy, and he says the palate is everything, whatever that means. All I know no, is that okay. I love these. N look, look. No, you don't love these. You oh, can't I do love. No, no, no. Reva's not that kind of girl. Reva is a rib kind of uh, woman. She likes uh, baby backs, greasy, uh, finger licking racks of ribs. That was going to be my second choice. Okay, and while you're at it, you might as well, uh, let's see. Might as well grab yourself a little hunk of that okra, too. Okra? Yeah, <laughs> go ahead, try Who it. Who invented it? What guy named it? Just try it. Take it. Wow. That is really... Okra. No, it's slimy. Okra. No, it's Learn awful. to love it. Uh, Eat. Oh, yuck. This is my decision to make, Mom. Lizzie already has nightmares thanks to Carl. She doesn't need to know about guns and murder. Do you understand yes, this? I do understand. And you're her parents. You're absolutely right, Beth. There's no need for Lizzie to know the complete truth. That is, if any of us knows the complete truth. You know what, Lillian? You, you haven't been to bed all night. Why, why don't you go get some rest? You know what I want to do? I want to go upstairs, if you, it's all right with you, and get some presents and bring them to Lizzie. Okay. Maybe I can distract sure. her, okay? Go ahead, do I that. I think that's a good idea. Uh, uh, tell her, Mom, that I will be up in a minute. Okay. I just want to talk to Nettie and tell her that the staff and should not talk about Carl's murder in right. front of Lizzie. Right. That's good. I'll be up in just a minute. I have to call the office, okay? I found these in the laundry room. They're yours, I know. You wore them to the party. <laughs> They're soaked through, just caked with mud. Should I take them to the shoemaker and see if there's anything he can do no, with Nanny, them? No, I'll take care of them. Oh, well, all I know right. you've got your hands full with the police and Lord knows who else running around here. It is a bit hectic. I know it is. You know what, you, know what you should do? You should take a break. Why don't you go have a nice strong cup of tea? Hmm? I think I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. I'll take care of these. Officer Rivera, ma'am, I'm with the police diving team. Is Mr. Spaulding here? I'm Philip Spaulding. What can I do for you? Mind if I use your phone to call the station? Sure. We just found uh, new evidence. Where? In your pond. Nobody. Let me ask you a question, Harley. What if Philip had received that letter? Where do you think you and he would be right now? After all, you weren't in his life at that time. No. No, you weren't. Ergo, he would have done the honorable thing and gone back to his wife and saved his marriage. Ergo, you and he would never have existed. Alan, you can ergo all over the place, but the reality is you're sitting in a police station facing a murder charge. No, the reality is you had a chance to win my son, and you seized the opportunity, and you got him. So what, are you taking credit for this? Well, I do feel partially responsible, yes. You think that I am going to be grateful to you for your rotten scheme? You're more delusional than I thought. You claim that I'm delusional? Miss Cooper, do you honestly think that I'm stupid enough to kill a man in cold blood on my own property so the police can find out? Oh, no, no, no. I never dirty my own hands, Harley. Everybody makes mistakes, Alan. Your first just might be your last. The only thing I'm guilty of is having my son angry with me because the only thing I want for him is for him to be truly happy. 
Okay, Alan. What's going on here? Well, in the grand scheme of things, nothing. Harley, who said you were allowed in here? Oh, 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 Detective Cooper, she is my guest. Why don't you put her on my bill? Don't worry about it, Alan. We're through with you for right now. Well, it's been swell. You know, one of these little days, you're going to take a nice little trip to the moon. And it's not going to be on a rock. Mm. Diving team just called in. OK. What do they say? They found a gun at Spalding Pond. All right, I'm on it. Harley, don't even think about it. What? You're not tagging along with me. Do you understand? Hey, I don't have to tag along with you. I am welcome at the Spalding House anytime I want to go there. Fine. Unless, of course, you're planning on keeping me here for questioning. I mean, I am a suspect, aren't I? That's what you said last night. You know what? I should just lock you up on general principles. You know, I have a right to see anyone I want to see or don't want to see. Harvey. You absolutely do. Yeah, and I think that I told you last night that, you know, we shouldn't see each other anymore, and I thought that you understood that. Yeah, I, you know, I thought I did too, Cassie, but you know what? The, the truth is, I didn't understand a word you were telling me. All I know is that you told me to go. Yeah. Yeah. And I love you too much just to walk away from you. Now, I don't know what's going on in that pretty little head of yours, but I love you. Look, you know, sometimes... Sometimes love just isn't enough, you know, and things happen in people's lives, and... I, didn't I just say I understand that? I know you understand that, but you're not listening to me, because... I need space right no, now, no, you know, I no, need some no. space. Don't give me I need space speech, because I'm not giving you any space. give up. I'll never give up. And you're going to help me, Sean. If that's the kind of food they serve in the Lewis household, I'm going to... You're going to love it. No, I was going to say, love I'm going to get it. it, Sean. I'm going to bust out of all my clothes, Look, which, of this, course, wouldn't be a bad thing. This whole thing is up to you, okay? You want to move into my house, be with me and my kids, you're going to have to learn this. Reva chows down on ribs. She does not nibble on finger food. You have a big backyard, right? Yes. Maybe we could throw a couple cows back there and raise them for ribs. <laughs> Dig into Michael's medical bag and... Okay, 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 all right. Clearly you have Reva's sense of humor. That's a good thing. But you just put it on hold for right now, please. Can we concentrate on the family? So I can't find anything funny, is that it? I can't it, laugh no, at anything? No, it's not that. It's, we just don't have time for it right now. I feel like I don't even have time to... to to do anything but get you ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for anything. What about you? Back off. Let's just concentrate on what we have to do, OK? I'm going to have to skim over a lot, a lot to cover. Whatever turns you on. I want to talk about my brother a little bit. Billy. Yes, we've, all, we've already said some things about him, but I want to get a little more specific, OK? Now, he is a hell raiser. He, he's calmed down a little bit, but when, when he was a kid, when we were growing up back in Tulsa, he was like a tornado cutting right through a field. Sounds like my kind of guy. Well, he... He was. The two of you were good buddies. Yeah? Yes. How good? Very good. Oh, come on, come on. I know all those stories. I, I know that I was married to the guy and that we have a son named Dylan who lives in Minnesota with Bridget and Peter. How am I doing so far? You're doing great. So tell me more. Okay, uh, you and Billy used to kid around a lot, and when you weren't kidding around, you were fighting. You mean really fighting? Yes, absolutely, really fighting. Your chairs flying all over the place, Whoa. throwing stuff. Uh, Who uh, won? 
Well, neither one of you would win, actually. You'd usually end up laughing so much you'd forget why you were fighting in the first place. Me and Billy. That's right. Now, um, something else we have to talk about here, something much more important, and that's your relationship with Mara and Shane. You sure love those kids, don't you? Yes, I do. They eat ribs, too? <laughs> well, Mara eats just about anything. Shane's a little more finicky, including about people. But he loves his mama, right? Well, he really didn't, uh... He didn't know her that well when he was very young, but yes, they have a good relationship now. And Mara? <sighs> Mara and, uh, Reva, they had a wonderful mother-daughter relationship. They, they, uh, They would breathe and, and, and think the same way. They even would finish each other's sentences. Really? I remember Mara from that day in the park, and she sure was feisty. You couldn't say a bad thing look, about her look, daddy look, or about look, her family let's, let's or anyone. Let's get back to Cassie, okay? Because you have got to be able to handle Cassie. I know that. Any issues with Cassie you have are going to have to be put aside. If the kids if the kids get any idea at all that, that the two of you... That don't... may be a little more difficult than the rest of it. You have to get along with Cassie. I'll try. No, trying isn't good enough. You have to. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, we'll practice, okay? How? We'll do a little role-playing game. I'll be Cassie, you be Reba. How many times do I have to tell you this? I am Reba! Well, there you are. Listen, uh, I'm, I'm looking for Philip. Look, son, I know that you're angry with me over this Carl issue, but I think we can talk this through if you will just give me a chance. Good morning, Eddie. I need to uh, speak to everybody. Oh, great. Everybody's here. Uh, I need to speak to everybody again, but uh, just give me one second here. I need to talk to Officer Rivera. Oh, I think I need a drink. Just basically like that. How's everybody uh, doing? Uh, how's Lizzie? How are you? Fine. Everybody's fine. What's going on? Well, you tell me. He just came back in here. Yeah, well, apparently there wasn't enough evidence to hold him. Okay, everybody, listen up. Uh, unfortunately, I need to question everybody again. There's been a new development. So the sooner that we do this, the sooner everybody's out of here. That's fine. Who do you want first? Uh, actually, I need a private room. Look, I've had all the conversations with police I'm going to have, Frank. You'll do exactly what Frank tells you to do. Look, if you want to talk with me, you'll go through my attorney, all right? Because I'm going to bed. Uh, not just yet, Alan. Well, look, look, you just released me, Frank. Well, that was before we found a gun in your pond. A what? Does that come as a surprise to you, Alan? Indeed it does, Frank. But, well, gee, I, I wonder what the odds are that we'll find out that that gun is registered to you. Or that maybe it's even the gun that you say that Carl took from you the night that you were guarding him. Remember the night that you said he overpowered you? What's your point, Philip? I don't think it takes a genius to figure out that if Alan and Carl were working together, maybe Carl never got the gun. Maybe you took the gun and stashed it so that you could use it last night. Why are you doing this? We'll determine the ownership and registration of that gun soon enough, but the most important thing right now is the ballistics report to see if that gun indeed was used to kill if Carl it, Stevens. If it was, the gun was stolen, Frank, by Carl. He presumably kept it to use against the person who was going to kill him, who got the gun back and shot him. It doesn't take a genius to figure that one out either. All right, enough. I didn't, I didn't want this to have to come from me. Last night, when we were out looking for Carl, I happened to glance over at the pond, and I saw somebody over there. Couldn't tell who it was, so I went over to get a closer look. And when I got near, I could see that it was my father. Why didn't you tell anyone about this sooner? Good question, sis. Well, until I heard about the gun, I didn't really have any reason to. You're absolutely positive it was Alan. Positive. It must have been pretty dark down by that pond. I'm positive you... that it was my father. Okay. I'll find another officer here to witness your statement. I'll be right back. Nobody move. We have to talk. We'll talk later. So... Decided to, to give me up, huh? Can't say that I'm surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. There's only one person, Philip, you would do this for. And that's Beth. Even with all your rage and anger at the moment, you would never sacrifice an innocent person. 
Unless you're protecting the mother of your child. Well, you just you have it all figured out, don't you? Death had to be the killer. It's the only logical explanation. What I didn't count on was being the sacrificial lamb. No, oh my God, you are guilty of sin. Of high crimes and countless misdemeanors against this family. You know what? I don't care who killed Carl. You're gonna pay for what you did to us. Philip, the truth is going to come out. You wouldn't know the truth if it bit you. It's gonna come out, and then you will know. Lillian, uh, can I have a word with Beth, please? For a minute. Honey? Yeah. <clears throat> what is it, Harley? Why don't you tell me? There's something going on here. I want you to tell me what it is. You know I love you, and no matter what you do, I'm not gonna walk away, ever. I'm right? sorry. I'm so sorry I even, I even mentioned it. God, I wish we could go away. I wish we could go away and be alone and have nobody else around. So let's so do wonderful. it. Let's do it. Let's put this behind us and let's go. And don't give me Tammy as an excuse because we can take her with us. In fact, we can take Peter and, and uh, you know, we'll make it like a family thing. No. No. Why not? No, we can't. Why? Because we have a dinner tomorrow night. That's why. That's why we can't go anywhere. Okay, so we go after the dinner. No, I, you know, I, I don't... I don't even think it's probably really a good idea if you come to the dinner anyway. Now, we are the ones who plan to trap Carl. So I'm not going to pretend to be entirely surprised by this whole thing, but something is off. Well, I guess I just don't want to know what you're talking about, Harley. I think you do. Do. Now, I talked to Alan, and while I'm not entirely convinced that he didn't commit these crimes, I'm not entirely convinced that he did either. What's all this talk about Philip seeing Alan with Carl by the pond? I guess I don't know what, what it is I'm talking about. You do. Harley. Say it. Harley. What? Leave it alone. When are you going to teach me the two-step? Right now, if you're up for it, Cassie, darling, oh, let's go. Don't, don't, look, look, I'm just, I'm trying to start a dialogue between Reva and Cassie. I know what okay? you're trying to do. I'm just trying to show you how difficult it is for Cassie to carry on a conversation. Just give it a shot. Oh, Cassie. What a pretty dress that is. It makes you look almost human. Reeve. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was just a joke. Okay, okay. Oh, Cassie. I really like the way you're doing your hair. It's so big. It's so big. <laughs> you have such big Reeve, hair. Reeve, come on, everywhere. Please. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm a bad girl. I am. I'm just, I'm a bad girl. I'm bad to the bone, especially when it comes to Cassie Lane. She's your sister. I know, and I'm supposed to love her. That's what you keep saying. If you don't get along with her, it's going to blow the whole thing. What about her getting along with me? I'm Reva Shane, the friendliest girl who you're ever likely to meet. Why can't she be nice to me? She will be, but not if you're being hostile towards her. I can maybe do that for an hour or so, but we're talking about the rest of our lives, and I don't think I can do that. You have to make this work. Whatever feelings you have for her, you gotta, you gotta let them go. You have to, it's gotta be as if you adore her. If I can pull that off, then you're gonna have to talk to those, those people who work in TV, who give people those statue things. Just stop, please. Just stop joking about this. It's very important. Bud, you can count on me. 
I want everything to be perfect for you. In fact, I want things to be so perfect that I asked Michael if I could take some more of that gross serum so that I would be closer to her age. And he said that it was fine. If it's okay with you. Is that what you want? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this for myself, too. Because I can't think of anything else that I want more in the world than to be able to come home to you and be your wife. Hey, you know, under the circumstances... Circumstances? Yeah. Circumstances. Yeah. The circumstances are we love each other, right? And I want to be with you when your sister comes back. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, I want you to come to the dinner. So then I'll see you later. Yes. Smile. Let this be the shortest dinner in history. What do you mean, am I sure? I'm, you're darn right, I'm sure. Hey, this is Reva Shane we're talking about here. And with Reva, bigger is always better. I remember the day I named the boat after you. So happy. She's like a child with a new toy. Oh, God, I'd love to make you laugh. Your eyes sparkle. Corners of your mouth and turn up. Toss your head back. Complete a bend. Laugh with such total delight. It was like music. God, I miss you. Why did you make me do that? Why did you make me love you? You laughing now, Nora? You laughing with him? How much did you hear? You still love her, don't you? Even after everything she did to you, you still care about her. I don't care if she rots in hell. You don't mean that. You don't mean that. Just leave me alone. You ran out on me. And I needed your help. Oh, oh, right, right. Anything you can do to get back home to your precious loved ones. Don't do that. Don't mock the feelings that I have for my family. My feelings and the memories that I have of Joshua and my children are all I have right now. They're what's keeping me going. You may have saved my life, and I'm not ungrateful, but that does not give you the right to put them down. I may need you to escape from this place, but I'm not desperate enough to let you make fun of the life that I miss and the people that I love. And if you can't deal with that, then I really will leave you alone from now on. Wait, wait. Why? So you can make another snide remark about my family? Forget it. I'll help you. I'll help you get back home. 